All right, uh, my name is David Ford. I'm the children's minister at Northside, and um, this is my friend. Yeah, I'm Michael Sims, and I'm the lead pastor at the church at White Knoll. I just thought we'd get together and have a little fun uh, with some bad dad jokes just to let everybody have a couple of laughs on us. I, I think Michael's one of the funnest guys I know, and, and so I just thought it would be fun to us. So. All right, so I want to take this one. Okay, and I'll take this one. And actually, you want to switch? Sure. Okay, that'll All be right. great. <laughs> So here's how the game's going to be played. What we're going to do is we've never seen these jokes before, and so we're going to pull these jokes out, and we're going to read them to each other. And if someone laughs, then that is a score for the other team. So uh, we're going to start off. Hey, I'm going to go ahead, and this is number two, so I'm going to let you go ahead and go first. All right. Can we go ahead and get our laughs out of the way? <laughs> That's right. We're going to go ahead. All right. Which U.S. state is famous for its extra small soft drinks? Extra small soft drinks. State is famous for extra small soft drinks. I have no clue. Minnesota. <laughs> that one, that's pretty funny. All right. Um, what do you call a hippie's wife? I don't know. That'd be a miss a hippie. Man, already got a point. All right. <laughs> Why do chicken coops only have two doors? Oh, I, I think I know this one. Because if they had four, they'd be a chicken sedan. That is correct. Is that right? That is correct. That is that phenomenal. Is, yes. I, I've never heard it told that way, but that was funny. All right. What do you call a monkey that loves Doritos. Monkey that loves Doritos. A chip pansy? I think that's pretty good, a chip pansy, but it's chip monk. Chip monk. All right. How can you tell if an ant is a boy or a girl? I, I don't know. They're all girls. Otherwise, they'd be uncles. Okay. That's bad. It could be uncles. Okay. Well, since we're on ants, why don't ants get sick? Why don't ants get sick? Because they have an antidote. They have an antibody. Antibody. That's nice. pretty funny. I think I think that was good. That was, that was good. I I, I kind of saw it. If by good, you mean bad. That's so true. If that you're talking bad, about bad. bad. All, right. All right. So what's the best time to go to the dentist? When your tooth is broken. No, what's the best time? Oh, best time. I got nothing. 2.30. 2.30, okay. Did you hear about the guy who invented Lifesaver? I did not. They say he made a mint. Yeah, I had a dream last night uh, that I was a muffler. I woke up exhausted. Yeah. You got me on that one. That was funny. I'm exhausted. Okay, two, nut, two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. Watch out for those yeah. Muggers. nut alleys. Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a glass of water? Because he was a little horse. He was a little horse. Oh, yes. that one I got. Yes. I was like, pony. Okay. Yeah. What do you call birds that stick together? I don't know. Those, my friend, would be Vel Crows. Pretty good. Yeah, I thought that was good. Did you know that UPS and FedEx are merging? Yeah, from now on, they're going to be called Fed Up. I'm pretty fed up. <laughs> it might be a really good time for that merger to happen right now. Okay. 
Uh, what is Forrest's, Forrest Gump's password? Think about it. Forrest Gump's password. I think you can get this one. That would be assuming I'm intelligent. Uh, I don't know. One, Forrest. One. That's good. All right. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Ground beef is it. Oh yes. my goodness. What do you call a cow with two legs? A lean beef. Lean beef. We're on the same track. What did the ranch say when someone opened the refrigerator door? What did the ranch say when somebody opened the refrigerator door? Be careful, I'm dressing. Close the door, I'm dressing. Yes, uh, close enough. Close yeah, enough. I think that one got that one. Okay. What do you call an empty can of cheese whiz? Cheese was. You got it! Woo! That one, that was just not even good. All right. What do you call a hen that counts her own eggs? What do you call a hen that counts her own eggs? Arithma hen? A mathema chicken. <laughs> <laughs> It's a man and a chicken! <laughs> All right. Why that one? That was bad. Okay, what do you call a magician's dog? What do you call a magician's dog? Yeah, think about that one. Because I think you can get it. I don't know. A labracadabra doodle. A labracadabra doodle. Man, that was good. I think that was pretty fun, don't you? Yes, yes. All right, all right, dude. That's awesome. Perfect. Thanks. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for joining us today. So, David, tell us uh, what you guys are doing online now that we're all stuck at home during this virus stuff. What is, what's the church doing? Well, we are doing a live stream at 10 o'clock a.m. on Facebook, and uh, you can check that out on Facebook or on YouTube, or you can also check it out on our website, northsidebaptist.org. Um, then Wednesday nights we do House of Prayer, um, that's at 6 o'clock. And, and then I do a special thing for kids at 9.15 for families. I do a 9.15 Bible story and that is a FaceTime Live. And you can always join us on Sunday mornings at 9.15 and uh, you can catch that on any of our media platforms. But we'd love to have you, so please come and join us. Awesome.